Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Index Engineering. This is going to be part two of our Unify series. If you remember in our previous uh, video, we went through and we started unboxing all of our Unify equipment. We had the Nano HD, we also had our Dream Machine Pro, and we got those all put together and we got them hooked up to the network. So I hope you guys stay tuned as we go into the initial configuration of our Dream Machine Pro. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do once we have the laptop powered up and hooked up to the LAN port on the uh, router, the Dream Machine Pro, we are going to pull up a command prompt and see what IP it auto gives us. So we'll see that this one is my virtual box, so that one can just disappear. Uh, this is the one we want to be concerned with, so this is a 0 0.222 with a default gateway of 0 0.1. So we put the 0 0.1 up here in the address bar, and we hit proceed. This takes us to our Unify login. So this is the same login that we used on our phone. All right, so here is the first boot up of the Dream Machine Pro. Now we see that's got the new portal. We'll just dismiss that. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll check for updates while we're here. Get this thing updated first thing. As you can see, it is auto checking for updates. And there is some available. So we'll go ahead and hit the update on protect and network access and talk so this will take a few minutes all right so now that we got the device updated we can go into the network side and start getting this configured can see in the topology that the only thing we have connected is our laptop. Same here, client device, that's the only thing. We're going to go into settings and we're going to create some networks. First thing we're going to do is update the LAN 1 subnet. We're going to change that from a 192 to a 10 dot. So we can go in here, we'll go to advanced, and we don't want it to auto scale network. You uncheck that, and that's what actually lets you choose the IP address scheme that you want. So we're going to keep it a 24, but we're going to change it to a 10.1.0.1. So that's going to be this one, DHCP range. Going to be 10.1.0. And then I always start these at 100. And then I always stop them at 200. And we're going to change this to 10.1 as well. Except for we want that to be a 0. Not 200. Not 254. That looks better. So now we got a hundred IP addresses in the DHCP range here. Uh, everything else we will keep the same. And so we will apply changes. So now what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to our address up here and we'll have to reconnect uh, to the new address. But we'll also have to pull a new address. So we'll do IP config here. It's still showing old so we're going to do it IP config slash release and IP config slash renew and there we go now we have the new 10.1 IP address within the DHCP scheme and the gateway is 10.1.0.1 so now when we come up here change this to 10.1.0.1 and voila. We can 
proceed to it and log in again. Alright, so now we are going to uh, set up a couple of VLANs now that we have the uh, primary LAN configured for 10 dot. So we'll hit add new network. And we are going to call this one 010-network-vlan. Actually, we'll do it VLAN dash network. We want to do advanced VLAN. I'm going to set this to VLAN 10. Once again, we uncheck auto scale network, put in the new IP scheme here 10.1.10.0. And DHCP range will be 10.1.10.100 to 10.1.10.100. And the gateway So we're going to create another network now, and this is going to be uh, VLAN 15, so we'll call it 015-VLAN-Wi-Fi APs. So this is going to be the VLAN for all of our access points. So we change this to 15, uncheck auto scale, we're going to make this 10.1.15.254 slash 24. We want all of our gateways to be 254. Uh, DHCP range is 10.1.15.100. 10.1.15.200. And we add network. And this is where I had a little bit of issues. Uh, I went through and started creating the third VLAN for the workstation, set the ID, went through, adjusted the gateway on it, set the DHCP range, and when I hit an add network, it did nothing. And so I waited a little bit, looked, and my information had been removed from it. So I went back and tried to add it again. It's like, where is it at? So I go through and I type in all the information again, add the VLAN ID, add the name, add the IP information. But this time, the information isn't pre-filled. It looks like this. Uh, normally that would have the 192 information in it. The DHCP range would have the 192, but it doesn't, it's got zeros. So I go through and fill out the information in it and hit add network. And it does nothing. It's at this point that I realize that something is going on. So I try it again, and again, and again. And it keeps failing every time that I try and create the third VLAN on this dream machine. So I go and just try and go back to the main screen. Not working. So I check my IP information, just make sure it's good. And at this point, it disconnects me from the Dream Machine. The Dream Machine has crashed, completely locking up the LAN interface. So at this point, I need to take a break. I decide it is time for me to stop my recording and roll everything back into factory defaults. So that's what I do. I factory reset it and try the whole thing over. It doesn't work. I factory reset it a second time. And I try loading the config from my other dream machine. And that doesn't work. I factory reset it a third time and try rebuilding the configuration again. And that doesn't work. So finally, I RMA it back to ubiquity and I wish that the story ended with me getting another replacement in a day or two 
But here it is, 14 days later, after RMAing it, that they have finally shipped it out. I still haven't received it yet, so it might take two, three, five days to get here. But it's on its way. And when it gets here, we'll try it again, and we'll make another video, and let you guys know how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my experience with a Dream Machine Pro. Hopefully yours isn't the same. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video.